YouTube fam, what it do? It's your boy Johnny. Happy Thursday. I'm gonna just get right into this update because I mean, I feel good, but shit kind of sucks. But eh, eh. All right, so let me explain. This is supposed to be my month three update for Finastride or 3.5 or whatever I'm at. Um, but things did not go as planned. So, um, I don't know if I've ever noticed any results from Finastrad in terms of hair thickening or in terms of, you know, regrowth or anything like that. Obviously I'm that three months, so I'm not going to get that, but I did notice my shedding went down dramatically. So like, like I, I always say this, I used to run my hands through my hair and get a ton of hair. I did it. Like I just took a shower and I run my hands through my hair and it's like, like a hair, like a hair, like a hair, you know, that's normal. That's, that's what you should all have. Um, so hair, Right now, it looks fucking fire, man. This is the natural light where this is everybody's worst nightmare. Look at the crown. Bro, I mean, oh God, if I could just keep my hair like this, I'd be so happy. Like I always say this, when I started off, I was like, let me regrow all my hair. Let me thicken everything. No, bro, just keep this. This is this is great. So let me just say it. Um, I started getting gyno. I started getting gynecomastia from this finasteride. Um, I noticed it first in my left nipple and I was like, cause I had just been, you know, cranking out chest. I had just been like doing a ton of hooks for boxing. So I was like sore here. So I assumed it was just like my muscle, but no, it was actually the development of some gyno. And like, when I do this, you know, you really, no one on this earth can tell I have gynecomastia. No, one. cause like I caught it, I caught it really, really early. Um, what some guys do with finasteride is they'll like go into like this denial, like, oh, maybe it won't get worse. Maybe it will stop. Maybe, you know, if I could just keep this going, like my hair is good. My hair's on my head. Maybe my chest can hold out. No, man, don't fuck with it like this. So as soon as I noticed gyno, um, I stopped taking the pill. And then I went to the doctor and here's where shit gets interesting and complicated. And I mean, take from it what you will, all right? So I went to the doctor and I was like, hey, like I'm developing gyno from this finasteride that you prescribed me that we talked about all this. And she's like, okay, like take off your shirt. Let me do a check. She did a check. I, mind you, I told her I had gyno. I told her I'd noticed the gyno. She's like checking. She did her thing. She did like maybe a three second check and she's like, boom, boom, boom. Okay, good. Boom, boom, boom. Good. Actually, I don't notice any gyno. So, you know, you might have body dysmorphia. You know, this might be on your head. Like when you came in here with your hair, like I didn't even notice hair loss. Like, and I'm just sitting there like body dysmorphia. Woman, do you understand how badly I want to have body dysmorphia? Do you understand how badly, like, like that would be the answer to my problems. If I have body dysmorphia, if I'm imagining my hair leaving me, if I'm imagining my chest growing a tit, body dysmorphia, suck my dick. Sorry, I, I don't normally talk like that, but dude, I need a fucking, I need a new doctor. Um, so again, I told her, like, I know she looked for Legano, she couldn't find it. She was like, you know, maybe it's all in your head. So taking that, I, I went home and I took another finestra because I was like, shit, maybe it is in my head. Maybe like this isn't anything. I haven't had any soreness. I haven't had any types of signs. Like maybe it's in my head. Maybe it's all in my head. So I popped another pill. I went through the weekend like nothing. The next week I start to realize that, okay, this is not in my head. This is like, there's something growing here. There's like, I, I'm getting like a tingling sensation. It just, it feels like something's going on in my tits. And if you've never had that feeling before, it's weird when it starts happening. It's weird as shit. It's like tingling. It's like, I don't know. So two things are happening to me. One, finasteride is working. Like my shedding stopped. I mean, my DHT levels are down for sure. Cause if it rose, let me break this down. When you develop gyno, it's because of your estrogen levels being up. When you are limiting your DHT, you're inhibiting your DHT, your testosterone and your estrogen levels go up. So all this testosterone, estrogen going around in my body, my body's reacting to that change and it's re it reacting significantly. So my estrogen is up here. It's like, you don't get gynecomastia without having elevated levels of estrogen. You don't have elevated levels of estrogen unless like you're messing with hormones in your body, which is what I'm doing. So, um, good news is that it's working is that like my, my shedding is stopped, blah, 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 blah. Um, uh, it's keeping my hair. Bad news is I'm getting tits. So, so this would put some people off. This would just be like, all right, that's it. I'm just going to lose my hair. Like finasteride goodbye. Like all this shit. 
it was nice, you know, RIP. Nah, man. All right, so I'm taking positives away from this. One, Finestra is working for me. Two, I need less of it. Three, oh God, I hate, I hate to say this, but through this entirety, bro, I've been smoking weed, like pretty much daily. So um, if you don't know shit about weed smoking or what it does to your body, go, go do some research, make your own opinion. But um, to say that it has no effect on your hormones whatsoever, to say that it has no effect on your body or hair would just be absolutely ignorant. Because we know smoking is correlated with premature balding. We know that smoking in general does a whole bunch of shit to your body that's fucked up. So imagine doing that with something else that manipulates your hormones. That's weed, bro. And I fucking love this shit, man. But it's not good for your hair. It's not good for your body. And it's probably fucking with your hormone levels. So I'm going to continue with finasteride. But after giving my hormones a month to kind of like level out again so this whole month i'm not going to touch finasteride i'm not going to do shit i'm going to you know go at the micro needling i'm going to keep using this tamoxidine um and then at the beginning of this next month or a month from now when i feel like my hormones are leveled out um i'm going to get my hormones tested because i never fuck it i never did this the right way going into finasteride and like this is probably my biggest regret i never got my hormone level tested i never had a base level i never tested when I noticed the gyno right away. So I would don't even for sure know if my estrogen levels are, are elevated, but it's just like, you don't get gyno from anything else besides that. Like your estrogen levels are up. That is why you get gyno. That is how these men transition into women when they take this at higher doses and it's intentional. So, I mean, that's the science behind it. Going into this next one, I'm gonna have a base hormone level of what my hormones are. I'm gonna test a month in, I'm gonna test another month in, and I'm going to be taking 0.5 milligrams. I still haven't decided between 0.5 or 0.25. Um, if you go look at the hair loss doctors, they say like 0.25 is when you start to get less benefit from the pill. And you know what? Less benefit sounds good to me as long as I'm not growing tits. So I still have not made up my mind if I'm going to take 0.5 moving forward or 0.25. But um, I'm feeling like I'm going to go with 0.5. And I'm going to be taking some estrogen blockers along the way as well. So um, grape seed extract, uh, I'm going to be doing the natural route, obviously, with the estrogen blockers. So like uh, cruciferous vegetables, grape seed extract, um, that whole thing. Go look it up on your own. But I'm also going to be looking into things like, you know, these, these estrogen blockers that aren't natural. So how much of that I can take for how long? Can I cycle it? I mean, can you limit estrogen? Can you... Yeah, I mean, can you limit estrogen in your body for that long without having consequences? Can you do anything in this long without having consequences? No. I mean, I fucking love my hair right now. I love it. If 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 this could be the rest of my life, I'd be happy. I'm not trying to regrow shit. I'm just trying to keep hair. So with that being said, my regimen is this going to be moving forward. And I'll let y'all know when I'm starting the next one and like what happens with this guy in a situation. If it keeps growing, if it doesn't. Um, I mean, look. Yep, does it look like I have gyno? No, like, my chest is normal, man. My chest is completely normal. Like, I would take off my shirt and shit, but what, you know, whatever. Um, I will let y'all know what's happening. Here's gonna be my regimen going forward. And just, just, I'm told y'all, I'm taking y'all to the end. What that looks like, I still have no idea, but, um, you know, one key takeaway I've learned from this entire journey, this entire hair loss thing is like, oh shit, now I have gyno and I'm losing hair. Like as soon as I started getting gyno, I did not give a shit about my hair. I did not. I was like, if I'm going to have tits, it doesn't matter what I have on my head because now I'm super like self-conscious about my body. I've never been self-conscious about my body. I've never been self-conscious about my hair before all this shit. And now I'm self-conscious about everything. But at the same time, it's just like, Bro, this is what I got. This is what I got. This is what we were given. These are the cards we were fucking dealt. And like, there's only one way out, bro. It's just, you got to deal with what you were given, man. You, this is the life we were given. Every single day we're alive is a blessing. And it, it it's so much more than what's on your head, than what you're wearing outside. It's what's in here, man. I'm going to keep saying this until like, y'all get it with me because... This is the biggest takeaway, man. So wrapping this shit up, um, look for another update. I'm gonna be starting my next finasteride cycle in a month. Um, if something happens before that, I'll update you guys. So keep 
uh, stay tuned. When I start my next finasteride cycle, I'm going to make a video. So I'm going to lay out exactly what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, how I'm doing it. Um, and if y'all want to do it with me, but know this, if you're taking finasteride, bro, this is a real side effect, man. This is not like a 1% of users side effect. Th that's absolute horse shit. This definitely happens to more people than 1%, 2%, 3%. Like know that this is a real thing, man. Like if you're going to fuck with these hormone altering drugs, this is what happens, man. Sometimes you get tits. Um, uh, when life gets you tits, fucking <laughs> somebody finish that for me in the comments. When life gives you tits make lemonade <laughs> all right boys i'll catch y'all next update be easy peace